Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. This video will describe the do's and don'ts of correct water sampling. Water is an essential nutrient for our animals and should be considered as a source of toxins like nitrates, sulfates, heavy metals, lead, and blue-green algae. Correct water sampling will aid in your investigation of potential problems. Do not take your only sample from the wellhead. The end of the water distribution line sampling is best as this allows the sample to flow through the pipes that may be the source of contamination. When sampling water from an open surface source, do not leave the opening of your container on the surface of the water. This will allow for floating contaminants to enter your sample container that will alter your results. Submerge the container under the surface three to four inches and allow to fill. When sampling a pond, try to stay three to six feet away from the bank. Use a sterile container of at least one pint in size. If a sterile container is not available, you can use an unopened quart water bottle purchased from the store. Dump the contents out and rinse twice with the water to be sampled, then take your sample. If you are testing for hydrocarbons or insecticides, using a glass mason jar is best. Use aluminum foil under the lid of the mason jar to prevent contamination from the lid. Be alert for surface contamination from leaking sources such as liquid feed containers, fertilizer tanks, or oil field structures. This is a concern especially when the contamination could flow into the well head. Remember, if you are requesting coliform testing, the sample container must be sterile and the sample needs to be delivered to the lab within the same day it was collected. Label your container with location, owner's name, and date. Refrigerate your sample after collection and for transport to the lab. For more information on this procedure or any other tests we offer, contact Client Care.